This presentation is designed to provide you with a brief overview of the variety of USDA child nutrition programs you may be able to participate in. It is a bird's eye view. Federal child nutrition programs are regulated and funded by the United States Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Service, commonly called USDA FNS for short. Each state has a state agency that administers the programs. In Maine, the state agency is at the Maine Department of Education. As the state agency, we are in charge of making sure that sponsors at the local level implement federal child nutrition programs correctly and for distributing federal funds for meal reimbursement. At the state level, we are a team of 15 and our office is located in Augusta. There are a multitude of child nutrition programs available for school sponsors to implement. Each program has its own set of requirements, but they are all designed to ensure children have access to good nutrition. The programs commonly provided by school sponsors include the National School Lunch Program, or NSLP, the NSLP After School Snack Service, and the NSLP Seamless Summer Option, the School Breakfast Program, or SBP, the Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program, otherwise known as FFEP, the USDA Foods Program, the Special Milk Program, and the Child and Adult Care Food Programs at Risk After School Program, in addition to the Summer Food Service Program, also known as SFSP. Federal child nutrition programs plan meals based on food-based menu planning. This means that meals and snacks are planned based on groupings of food called food components. Foods have been grouped together based upon their nutritional contribution to our diets. There are five food components that are used to plan reimbursable meals. Grains, meat, meat alternates, fruits, vegetables, and fluid milk. Now we will briefly cover the child nutrition programs commonly offered by school sponsors. The National School Lunch Program provides nutritionally balanced lunch to students when school is in session. The program was established under the National School Lunch Act, signed by President Harry Truman in 1946. Under this program, meals must offer all five of the different food components, fruit, vegetable, grain, meat, meat alternate, and fluid milk. There are minimum serving sizes for each of the components that must be met and there are also guidelines for calories, fat, and sodium. You receive a set reimbursement rate for one complete meal served to a student per school day. The School Breakfast Program is a federally funded meal program providing a nutritionally balanced breakfast to students when school is in session. Reimbursable school breakfast meals offer four food items from three food components, grain, fruit, and milk. Meat, meat alternate is optional. There are minimum serving sizes for all components that must be met, and there are also guidelines for calories, fat, and sodium. You receive a set reimbursement rate for one complete meal served to a student per school day. The Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program offers fresh fruits and vegetables at no charge to students served at times outside of the breakfast and lunch serving times. FFEP is targeted to elementary schools where over 50% of the enrollment qualify to receive free or reduced price meal benefits. Each spring, interested schools must apply by completing an online application with the state agency. If awarded, schools receive funding amounts per student to implement the program the following school year. In addition to the financial subsidy sponsors receive for each reimbursable meal served to students, sponsors that participate in the National School Lunch Program or School Breakfast Program also receive a dollar value that can be used to order USDA foods, including fruits and vegetables, meats, cheese, beans, brown rice, and other whole grains. These foods are purchased by USDA and offered to schools with the dual purpose of supporting American agriculture and providing nutritious meals to students. The dollar value that you receive is called a PAL, Planned Assistance Level, and that is your bank account, if you will, for ordering USDA foods. 
With your PAL, you can also participate in the Department of Defense or DOD program, where sponsors can allocate their USDA food value or PAL towards the purchase of fresh fruits and vegetables. Sponsors may also choose to participate in Net Off Invoice, or NOI, which is the processing of USDA raw food products into other food products. For example, instead of ordering the USDA bulk mozzarella cheese with NOI, you can have it sent to a pizza processor to be made into pizza. The school then purchases the end product, or pizza, directly from their designated distributor at a reduced price because of the value of their USDA foods that went into the product. The annual order for USDA foods is done in the spring before the program year. This is also the time when a sponsor decides if they are participating in DOD Fresh and NOI. The Special Milk Program provides reimbursement to sponsors that offer fluid milk to children that do not have an option to participate in any other child nutrition programs, such as the National School Lunch Program and the School Breakfast Program. For example, a split session kindergarten class that is not present during breakfast or lunch service. After School Snack Service is a snack program that falls under the National School Lunch Program regulations. Sponsors who choose to participate in the After School Snack Program receive reimbursement for complete snacks provided to school children participating in school-sponsored enrichment programs after the school day ends. Schools with 50% or greater free and reduced price eligible students may provide the snacks at no charge to any participating student. For the sponsor to receive reimbursement, the student must select a snack consisting of any two of the following components, meat, meat alternate, grain, fluid milk, and a fruit vegetable component. The components must meet serving size requirements. The Child and Adult Care Food Program is another federally funded child nutrition program that serves many adult and child day care programs. CACFP also provides funding to after school enrichment programs that serve healthy meals and snacks to children and teens in low income areas. The at-risk after-school program can operate after school on weekends, holidays, and during school breaks. In Maine, a school with at least 50% or more free or reduced price eligible students that provides regularly scheduled after-school enrichment or educational activities must participate in the at-risk after-school child and adult care food program or opt out through a formal school board vote process. The Summer Food Service Program was established to ensure low-income children continue to receive nutritious meals during the summer months when school is not in session. Free meals that meet the federal nutrition guidelines are provided to all children 18 years old and younger at approved qualifying sites. Schools participating in the National School Lunch Program or School Breakfast Program are eligible to apply for the Seamless Summer Option. Seamless Summer has less paperwork, making it easier for schools to feed children during the traditional summer vacation periods and for year-round schools who have long school vacation periods. Once approved by the state agency, the schools serve meals free of charge to children, including teenagers through age 18, under the school meal program rules. Meals are reimbursed at the free rates for school lunches and school breakfasts and after school snacks, which are slightly lower than the summer food service program rates. Annually at the start of each program year in July or August, you will complete a participation packet and agreement. This is where you tell us what child nutrition programs you want to participate in for the upcoming year. This process is completed online in CNP web. The application must be submitted and approved by us, the state agency, before you are allowed to operate. When choosing to participate in one or more of these programs, such as the National School Lunch Program, you are agreeing to offer free or reduced price and paid meals to all students who are eligible, offer meals that meet meal pattern and other requirements, operate a nonprofit food service program, and to not overtly identify or discriminate against a student. CNP Web is our child nutrition software program. 
Here you will find the annual agreement and the monthly claim for reimbursement. All programs, the school nutrition programs, the food distribution program, the child and adult care food program, and the summer food service program are housed in CNP web. So, how do you determine which students meet the eligibility requirements or income guidelines for free or reduced price meals? Eligibility is determined each school year based on a completed household application and by direct certification. Household applications are made available each year by Maine Department of Education Child Nutrition. Sponsors, such as local school districts, must make it available to all households at or before the start of the school year. If a family chooses to apply for free or reduced price meals, they only need to complete one application for all students in their household. Sponsors cannot require households to complete an application. Direct certification is when a student is automatically eligible for free school meals based on their participation in an assistance program such as SNAP. When a student is directly certified, a household meal benefit application does not need to be submitted. In Maine, meals are offered at no charge to all public school students or publicly funded students, regardless of their individual eligibility for free or reduced priced meals. However, you will still be processing applications and conducting direct certification matches. This is because there are other benefits the families and schools receive that are determined by a school or district's free and reduced percentage. You are reimbursed a set amount for each meal served to a student based on that individual student's eligibility, meaning are they eligible for a free meal, a reduced price meal, or if they don't qualify for either of those, you receive paid reimbursement in addition to what the student would typically be charged. Or in Maine, if you are a public school or have public students, you receive additional state reimbursement instead of charging students. You do not receive any reimbursements for adult meals. Also, to be eligible for reimbursement, a meal must meet the requirements, specifically the meal pattern, set out in program regulations. Sponsors are responsible for tracking when a complete reimbursable meal is served to students and, depending on the program, may need to be tracked by student name and eligibility. We call this accountability. Once the month has ended, these meal counts are totaled and a claim for reimbursement may be filed. You may file between the 1st and the 8th of each month following the reimbursement period. So the keys for reimbursement are meal pattern and proper accountability. To summarize, with federal child nutrition programs, the sponsor plans a meal that meets program requirements and determines the eligibility of students. When a reimbursable meal is selected by the student, the sponsor records it by the eligibility of that student. At the end of each month, the sponsor will file a monthly claim for reimbursement, reporting how many free, reduced price, and paid meals were served to students, and then will receive the subsidy payment. Because this is a very basic overview, more information about the topics presented in this overview can be found in the online training modules on our webpage. We also have a Back to Basics handbook with more detailed information. And here is our contact information if you would like to reach out to hear more about our programs.